Oh, Sledge of War 101 here again doing another impact review. The 5th of the 30th, 2013. Like this page, subscribe down below, leave some comments, and follow me at Legend of War 101 on Twitter. Now, um, basically, um, the show kicks off with Bully Ray and Devo and talk about how, how the people have beaten, people have taken out. You know, Vitika Hardy hit the back of the head with a hammer. Um, Devo saying he's going to take out Park at Slam Anniversary. Um, but anyway, he's going to take out Sting at Slammiversary, so then all of a sudden Park and Sting come down and then the brawl just kicks off. Just mayhem. Just kicks off, just chaos. chaos. Um, <clears throat> Sting and Park get the win. Basically, the Dudleys I'm trying to do was like, what is that? I'm holding, I'm bought, Bully Ray holding Park's legs and Devon's going to do the headbutt into the groin area of Park, but that didn't happen. Because the bass music went off, Bully Ray went to check and Sting hit the Scorpion Death Drop on um, Devon and got the 1 2 3. Yeah, so that was the end of that. Nothing too special happened there. Um, and next, Dixie Carter come, came out talking about how there's going to be another inductee in the Hall of Fame. And all of a sudden, the uh, Ace and Eights come out. Brother. Ace and Eights, basically, Ace and Eights come out and. Um, they're saying how um, Bully Ray, I didn't get any praise for Slammiversary and Jeff Hardy's um, well, Sting got, got to say, I'm got, um, wish good luck by Carter. Then they surround Dixie Carter and then Joe and Magnus come out. Then Joe goes, you're cowards. You're all cowards. So get a bitch off. Get your ass in the ring right now. I'm gonna sell this like men. So basically, that's what happens. So then Garrett versus Samoa Joe. The match even um, go a couple of minutes because the Ace and Eight's got involved. No contest. Match gets thrown. Match get thrown out. So then Joe goes. Uh, Mike again goes. Cowards. Cowards. So yeah, that's the end of that. Um. Basically goes back. Um, they're showing like a rerun of Gunner taking out Sharp Boy and Robbie on um, to be James Law's partner. And Hogan's talking with Brooke backstage about how he loves me. He loves me. So uh, then that backstage segment. Um, next was <coughs> six man tag, bad influence, um, and um, actually wait, six man tag, yeah, eight man tag. Bad Influence, Bobby Roode and Aries versus Storm Gunner and Hernandez and Chavo. Do, 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 Chavo. Um, so then, yeah, Chavo, Hernandez, James Storm Gunner win the match. So basically, Gunner makes Aries tap, torture rack. He's obviously he's the, new, <laughs> the new Lex Luger. Gunner, building up Gunner is the new Luger. Um, so yeah, it's good for Gunner to see. I like Gunner. The Machine Gunner. Um, I'm sure AJ starts riding, to, riding his Dark Knight bike. That bike looks so sick. AJ Styles looks like a G on that bike. Uh, all he needs now is a Batman suit, and he'd be set. Um, so yeah, um, basically it shows backstage Ace and Eight, so you know, taking Mick Hub Anderson saying, Oh, sorry, man, about AJ Styles, like. And then, Blue <laughs> Ray and D1, listen, look at Anderson saying, You suck. You couldn't even get AJ, AJ Styles to join Ace and Eight. So then, all of a sudden, a um, Anderson's like, To Dilo, say, Go and go first. And then Dilo's like, Cool. All of a sudden, Anderson just goes nuts. Dilo Brown knocks me to the wall, and Dilo Brown's just out on the floor. Um, then, Be Mickey James backstage talking about how she took opportunity to win the women's title, said, um, Velvet Sky didn't deserve it because of her injury. So yeah, that was it. So then, all of a sudden, Ricky James is in the ring, and she's saying, "I'm oh, sure wants to bring Velvet out to say how she's gonna get a rematch when she's well." And Velvet says, "I know, I want it right now." So all of a sudden, Gail Kim comes out. Um, but in the way, Mickey James was talking kind of heelish, so you can tell the heel turn, the heel turns actually coming. So Gail Kim comes out and um, saying how it wasn't for me, Mickey. Um, Velvet Sky when I got injured, and you want to um, be able to take advantage of it. Yeah. Um, Velvet Sky is just like, and 
See, this is Gail Kim, because Gail Kim's basically saying that she took out Velvet, so then that's what, um, she was suffering the rock for Mickey James to win the title. Mickey James is like, Mickey James is kind of accepting that, saying, yeah, you're kind of right about it. Um, hint, hint, heel turn, Mickey James. Um, so all of a sudden, Gail Kim just kicks Velvet in the knee, and drags her, going to do that, the corner figure four again, post figure four. So then all of a sudden, Time Trolder comes out and just goes nuts and again. And the referee has to stop her. Then the match starts. Um, Chris Sabin and Taryn versus Kenny King. My boy, Kenny King versus Gail Kim. Basically, this match is a very good match, actually. Sabin gets the win of the Cradle Shock. The new variety on version of the Cradle Shock. On Kenny King wins the match. And Kenny, um, Chris Sabin talks off the match. And he's going to win the, the title from Kenny King. Kenny King's like, nah, he attacks him. About to hit the um, raw flush on him. And all of a sudden, um, Suicide comes out, helps, backs it, saves Saban. Saban's looking at him, Suicide, and Suicide's got the belt like, is it a possibility? Suicide versus Chris Saban feud? We don't know. Kenny King, let's see what Kenny King um, has to say about that at Slammiversary. Um, next. AJ Styles and Ken Anderson are backstage, coming to the ring. Basically, it's Ken Anderson versus AJ Styles next. Um, AJ Styles is just a brutal in this match. I love his vicious style now. It's just these two had a great matchup right now. Um, the talent these two have is amazing. Um, Anderson still going all that gear, like his, his clothes, his jeans, and everything, still going that that gear. Uh, AJ Styles just bare brutal. No more high flying anymore. He just going straight up mat based wrestling. AJ Styles wins by DQ. H and H come out and just demolish them. Cause oh well, Angle came out. Wait, Angle actually wait. Is Angle got um Anderson DQ'd? Angle comes out and starts attacking AJ Styles. It's like, like why can't you do this after the match or something? It's like he attacks him during an H and H match. And you know what's gonna happen? H and H come out and they demolish Angle and um, AJ Styles. Angle's just, they're making that Angle look like a flipping idiot, which I don't know. I don't understand why. So the rest of the locker room comes out to help Ace and Eights, and that's basically how it ends. So um, that's been my review. Ace and Eights uh, did another good job of destroying the roster, destroying the matches, you should say. Um, basically, like this page, subscribe now below, leave some comments, and follow me at Legend101 on Twitter. Thank you. Peace.